Purdue at the ultimate control decks. Yeah, so they have, well, I don't not know if the Rogue. Not the Rogue, but. Yeah, so this looks like it's going to be a giant Echo Mage. Yeah. Which is a really interesting deck with refreshment vendors. It also could be Fatigue Mage. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't seen any Fatigue Mages for a while, but could be. I haven't seen any Echoes Giants Mages <laughs> Echo for a while Giant either. Mage. Sometimes you see it show up on ladder. Uh, yeah, who knows? But anyways, usually both Mages are considered pretty unfavored against Handlock. Yeah. So it, it's interesting to see how it all worked out. Yeah. Void Cars, Mountain Giants, and Twilight Drakes, hard to deal with. And they have... A very important card against Echo Giants. Oh, they're going to go ahead and flame. ping their own face. So <laughs> it is going to be Giants, Mage. Yeah. And Purdue with that, I mean, yeah, they might be giving it away, but I don't know if, if Wooster can really hold them too accountable for that. Yeah. Both classes just want to damage themselves. <laughs> yeah. So one of the win conditions of the Echo Giant Mage is you know, get low and then play... Whole bunch of mountain giants with echoes, maybe with some crews. Mm. Hellock has a great counter in Shadow Flame. They have also eight, eight, eight attack minions. Yep. So you can just play a mountain giant or molten giant Shadow Flame. You lose their the entire board after. So yeah. Also another thing is if they just keep Purdue healthy, where they're not able to play molten giants. Another strategy that's actually really effective is just to uh, keep the mage high in life and then play Draxus because Draxus is basically an infinite amount of threats, a 6-6 six, six every turn, and, and then what you do is you eventually just one-shot them after you yeah. build up enough 6-6s. Six, six, six. You can build them around 20 health, and then yeah. just build up enough board to do 20 damage in a second turn. And if you can get the block in the first one, it's harder from the win, since, yeah, they yeah. can still get the, you know, Mountain Giant turn, or Molten Giant turn off, but then you have Shadow Flame, and you can also just kill them after the block at that point, so. Yeah. And Wooster just has so many tools to deal with. Those giants as the game goes on, with the cards like Shadow Flame, as you mentioned, also Big Game Hunter. Um, now I wonder if Wooster actually just decides to play Belcher, not attack, because it's one of the strategies in this matchup is just to not to kill the mage. You know that they were even pinging themselves, so yeah. Either way, they have a lot of room to work with. Mage is still at 24, still out of molten range, anyways. And you can't really play Molten Giants for 10 or 8 in this matchup as a mage. You need to play them for Very extremely cheap. cheap so you can combo with Echo. Yeah. This this uh, deck is really tough to play, this Echo Mage deck, because you have to find a very fine balance um, between, you know, making sure that you're keeping yourself healthy enough, but also making sure that you're going to have the resources available yeah. to actually have a win condition. Like to actually make enough Molten Giants with a combination of Duplicates and Echoes uh, to pose a threat. And this matchup uh, against the Handlock you, you adds an even another complexity because you also have to worry about your opponent having things like Molten Giant and Shadow Flame that can take out a, a pretty large board. And with one Polymorph already gone, Purdue is going to have to covet that second Polymorph or to potentially protect the board later on in the game. It's going to be really tough. Kind of surprised to see the Defender of Argus not come down here. It would enable Wizard for some good trades. Well, that lines up pretty nicely for a Flame Strike, but Doom Guard is going to pop out. See what they decide to do here. That's it. Purdue probably doesn't want to attack. They want to get low health before uh, the Warlock does. <laughs> this is like a race. A backwards race. <laughs> a backwards race. I've actually seen Echo Giants in this matchup, or even against Control or another matchup that plays similar to this, uh, play Alex Strauss on themselves <laughs> just so they can get low enough to play Molten Giants. Yeah, that's actually a, uh, a really common strategy. And they're just going to push damage. That's bold. <laughs> that is bold. But hey, a lot of times when you have an aggressive hand, you can just go for it. I mean, one of the 
One of the things Purdue doesn't have, which is really important, is card draw. Since if someone just goes for it and you don't have enough card draw, you're not likely to have enough of your combo pieces. You know, you just have all these frost bolts and polymorphs yeah. shaped damage there. There's not actually any combo pieces right now. Um, if we actually see their boat, like, both players' hands, it's actually the correct decision for Wooster to just go for it, because Purdue doesn't seem like they can actually hang on this game. Yeah, that's one of the weaknesses of the deck, is that it's so uh, it's so tight with the list that you need all those removal spells, and you also have quite a bit of cards that you need to combo. You need Echoes, you need Duplicates, you need Boltons, you need Doomsayers, you need Freeze, you need removal, so it's hard to fit in card draw. A lot of times, you can only fit in Arcane Intellects, um, because at the same time, Acolyte of Pins become liabilities when you get to situations where you have uh, Duplicate, because uh, you just can't really fit it in, and Acolyte of Pain becomes a, a good duplicate target for your opponent. <laughs> Look at this play. Just go ahead and burning one of the Echoes, but getting a lot of value from this Echo. Four minions. That's so annoying! <laughs> Refreshment Vendor is the ultimate counter to Handlock. <sighs> These Molten Giants are never coming down. No, they are not. Good thing about for Wooster is that they can uh, tap down every turn. Yeah, Wooster might want to develop the Emperor this turn, and there is quite an easy way to do it if you're willing to use your Owl. Yeah. You, you could just silence. Uh... You know, there's two. There's two targets you can silence. You can actually silence the sheep here and kill the Doomsayer, which is one option. You could uh, attack the sheep and then kill the Doomsayer. That hurt. That makes your you lose your two three with that move. You also attack the sheep, silence the doomsayer, push six. Yeah. Put him at exactly ten so he can play his moltens. <laughs> Looking at this, I probably actually prefer to save your owl. Yeah. Should be some easy way to deal with this without. You can actually get an extra tap here if you're willing to save your owl, which means that you get one more card discounted from the emperor. And they hold off on the attack. Go ahead and silence the Doomsayer. That's a lot of Doomsayers. Yeah. There's that's actually a slight misplay by Wooster. There's no reason not to attack the sheep, at least with the Doomsayer, since you're just giving your opponents more options at this point. Like, there's no reason for you not to attack before dropping the minions, right? It's the same thing. If you don't attack the sheep, they can just attack you next turn. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the classic situations where you're kind of like... It's like ripping off the band-aid, right? As a, as a little kid, if you like, you have to do it eventually. You might as well get the pain over now because yeah. you know the. Again, here he gets punished a lot because he doesn't get to cash in on the doomsayer, and also he loses the two extra minions to the sheep damage. So, I don't know. I mean, he didn't even attack with the doomsayer. So. I just always waited for my band-aid to fall off while I was sleeping. <laughs> I don't think there's an analogy you can make there with Hearthstone. Uh. Nope. It's gonna take you forever to think of it. <laughs> I'll, I'll get, I'll get there. Okay, come back to me on that one. Mount Giant, no tap. Just that's all. That's all, folks. <laughs> that's all, folks. Interesting. Who says that? Bugs Bunny? Yeah, Bugs Bunny. I mean, normally Handlock, I feel, just wants to cycle for Draxes in this matchup. Yeah. I don't really know if you generally prefer taking the fatigue, but it seems like that's what Wooster's doing. They don't want to draw cards, and might get punished for it. They're gonna go for the sludge bulger here. Most likely won't attack, because that has seemed to be their plan the entire game. Yeah, finally picking up the shelf, and really important card eventually, but. You know, one shadow flame does not guarantee you to win the game. I mean, if they play the Molten Giants with Echo, they can still have more in their hand uh, if they stagger. Also, if they play the Molten Giants, even if they do play all four with the second Echo, uh, duplicate can still mean that there's two more. So, yeah, one shadow flame definitely does not guarantee you to win this matchup. It's really tough for Wooster. Yeah, so if, Wooster's not, if Wooster's not with a life tap, uh, they're pretty much just are done this turn. <laughs> this could be the saddest turn ever. Turn 10 for him. Look, Ancient Watcher. <laughs> Ancient Watcher passed! <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm officially done. <laughs> Call me when someone does something. 
<laughs> These are interesting matchups. Control matchups are generally... You know, people have much less experience playing control matchups yeah. because most Hearthstone games are tempo based and uh, these are rare decks that are coming to so I can definitely feel the inexperience of the situations coming into here yeah Wooster may have never played against a, a deck that's exactly like this one yeah fresh inventors haven't been in the game for a long time and not many people have played echo mage post UTT. once again no attack I wonder what this turn is going to be <laughs> because uh, so going by their plan from last game, this turn is just pass. pass. <laughs> Do nothing. Pass. Yeah. It's weird because early they were rushing loose Purdue down. Yeah. And then they just suddenly made a 360 and just, I'm done. <laughs> they just, yeah, they were done after a while. Passing is not extremely dank. It's not dank at all, actually. It's only slightly dank. Not even slightly. Yeah, I mean, I don't if really If they're see... keeping track of the Echo, they know that two of the cards are Doomsayers, and three of the cards actually is just cheap, right? Since that was also another Echo target. They actually just kept their game plan. Since three cards are kind of dead cards for Mage, they could have easily just rushed them down. Uh, did they? Okay, so they went and tap. Oh, man. And now, it might even be a Tempo BGH. Uh, they're hovering over it. I don't think you really play a Tempo no, BGH no, against no. an Echo Mage. You can't. <laughs> That pass. Okay. <laughs> heal bot. Oh no. my god. The other team is dead too. What just happened? They didn't even ping themselves. Nope. Because <laughs> there's no bolt. Too scared dying. Oh my god. Well, if Wooster sees yeah, this, they, they could make the read. <laughs> Purdue could have at least pinged the Watcher. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> they just passed. It's not worth their time to oh, ping the Watcher. Geez. Uh, this is more like Wooster playing against themselves. Yeah. Wow. They're going to throw away the mortal <laughs> coil and pass. Okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> there it is. Ping on themselves. This almost seems like a non horse. It almost seems like one of those you know, skirmishes where you're just testing stuff against your friend. Yeah. Like they're not even fighting. Like they're trying to get that. They're trying to get like a trolldom video. Yeah, like a specific exactly. Scenario. Exactly. Normally, Hearthstone's about hitting your opponent in the face. Yeah. <laughs> face is the place. Face is the place. But now here, it's like, well, we're pinging our face. <laughs> well, now they uh, they're at nine cards, so they, they can, can pass still one more pass turn. One turn. Or they can just, you know, throw a refresh and bender into the ring and then ping themselves again. Change of plans. <laughs> Purdue is starting to regret that they didn't start pinging the watcher a couple yeah. turns ago. They could have pinged the watcher a couple more times by by here. Would have been an easier kill. Well, there's a void caller, but it doesn't really help them. It's something to play, but they don't have a demon in their hand. Yeah. Even though we've been kind of like uh, you know, joking around, Booster does have a chance to win this game still with, say, they're, they're looking for Drax, I feel, with their line of play. Because they just want to play Draxes and then start dropping Furnos. Uh, I think they're not expecting Boos uh, Purdue to have a Fireball, because normally when you go for that play against this deck, you're not expecting your opponent to have any, any Fireballs. So if they actually just go for playing Draxes, they might actually get burned out by... Fireball, Frostbolt, maybe some of the stuff on board. Yeah. And normally when you're playing against this deck, you don't expect to see Fireball or even Frostbolt. Mm. Because their only line that makes sense passing so many turns is to try to stall out the game for Draxus. Or maybe, maybe stall out the game for Fatigue is another way. Ah, at this point, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Is that an Echo? No, it's a duplicate, so that's not something that they really want to play with the board that they have now. They could ping off their own Doomsayer and trade in their slime and play duplicate in hopes of getting something reasonable. The next Just gonna turn. keep slime control. Well then. 
further away from Molten Giants. There's an anti kill bot for Wooster as well. Still no threats drawn in their hand. I don't know. Maybe Purdue is just role playing as a Molten Giant deck, but they don't actually have Molten Giants. <laughs> that would be nuts. <laughs> it's like they ping themselves in the face already just to bluff that. Yeah. It ends up being just like a fatigue mage with. <laughs> with refresh inventors yeah. and. Death Lords. Yeah. I doubt it, but it's possible. We haven't seen a Molten Giant. No, yet. we have not. And they also were pretty quick to use that. Uh, Anti kill bot. No, no, no. The Echo on some pretty inconsequential cards. Refresh Inventor, Doomsayer, and Explosive Sheet. At the time they used that, I feel like they were kind of in a desperate situation. At that point, Wooster was rushing them down pretty hard. So. I guess, I suppose so. That is true. So, Sunfree Protector, another sort of dud. Not a threat, so they pass. They do have nine cards in their hand. So oh my! It is a fatigue mage. There's no moltens, maybe. Oh my god! What if they're? It's actually just a whole bunch of cold light oracles. And I called it. Uh, this could be the greatest troll ever. <laughs> the greatest troll ever. The old, the old molten giant echo mage ruse. Yeah. Turns out that there is no molten giant. <laughs> it's a good reason to ping my trap card. It's a good reason to ping your face on turn two. To trick out your opponent. Mm. But I'm if, not sure. I'm still not sure. Right even now, if I was Tempo seeing. Mage, I didn't have a turn two play. Just ping my face. <laughs> Psych out your opponent. Oh my god, he's Giant's Mage. Yeah, I'm still not sure if there is Molten's, honestly. Uh, it could still be. Yeah. So what they could do is Death Lord. Okay. Once they play Death Lord, the gig might be up. <laughs> oh. At some point, they have to give away the strategy. Yeah. <laughs> There's no demon. Who's <laughs> just like, what the heck? <laughs> oh, there's Mount Ganis. Yeah. I don't know. What oh, to think anymore. you know what? This is actually could be a huge game swing here because Wooster, the way they played, there's not they're not pressuring. The way they want to win is through Draxus. If this Death Lord pulls out Lord Draxus from the deck, that could be a disaster for Wooster. Yeah. You're looking for that infinite value of Lord Draxus, which you don't get unless you get the battle cry, so. I don't you know. Just see Wooster contemplating on their screen. They're not even talking anymore. All three of them are just like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess we just play a Sun Fury Protector and then pass. Oh, sure. There's an echo. Okay. Uh, they could echo now and get another heal bot, but then they'd be at 10 cards. So they'd have to play something else. Especially with the duplicate down already, if you echo, yeah. get even more cards in your hand. Yeah. Your duplicate might just mill you. Not really mill you, but you don't get any value from the duplicate, so. Yeah. They might just pass here. They have eight cards, so. Yeah, this is smart because this allows. They need to go down seven for duplicate. Yeah. Because if they duplicate from eight, they go to ten in the middle card. So. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, we'll just like throw out the hellfire. <laughs> Give them the happens. heal bots. See what happens. Who cares? <laughs> I feel like we should get a card count of the decks because the game is coming yeah. down to. There's a cold light. It's really important. Oh, jeez. Yep. And I don't. I, I think that if they do that, they mill themselves. Cold Light's usually the win condition for Fatigue Mage. What they usually do this is... This is Fatigue Mage, actually. There's been zero AIs the whole game, zero Moltens. There's not many cards left for yeah. Mage. So actually, I'm pretty sure there are no Moltens. And uh, for sure, Wooster has drawn more cards since they have life tapped a couple of times. And they also will draw more eventually due to the Death Lords. Yeah. So uh, there's no way that Wooster will win the Fatigue War. Purdue will have more cards in, the, in their deck, so. Yeah. I don't know if there's a way for Wooster to win. Because At there's... this point, it's awkward for Draxus, because they never got board control. Even if you just play Draxus, you could just die to Fireball, Frostbolt, and yeah. do five damage. And, and then you'd also be getting close to Fatigue. Draxus looks like it's one of the last cards in the deck, and once you get to Fatigue, Cold Light Oracle all of a sudden becomes like a burn spell. Yeah. Uh, at the very least, once you hit Fatigue, Cold Light Oracle's uh, three mana for three damage, and then 
it starts increasing exponentially as you move up. Very surprised to see Wooster not even playing Dr. Boom here. I am not sure what their game plan is. I think their game plan is they don't want to mill that Draxus from the Death Lord, so they don't want to give the Death Lord a target to trade into. That's pretty next level, but I think that's their thinking. Well, they're eventually they're going to have to deal with that Death Lord. After Draxus is drawn. After Draxus <laughs> yeah. is drawn, okay. Yeah. Well, they're going to hope that anti Killbot heals for none. Is this Draxus? No, it's not. If they do drop the Twilight Drake, they're ruining their game plan here because technically you can just ping your own Death Lord and trade into the... Does Purdue understand that win condition, though? I don't know. I don't do they know. understand that Draxus is going to be the only way that Wooster has the potential to win this game? thing is, I don't think Purdue even cares about Draxus because... They think they're going to win anyway. No, because you have five damage against Draxus. And since there's a Fireball and Frost will ping, that's lethal Yeah. Draxus. So yeah. Draxus actually doesn't win Wooster the game unless they can deal with the board first. Yeah. Uh, if they're not willing to play minions, they won't be able to deal with the board. And also, at this point, Draxus might be too little too late just because of all the Doomsayer Frost Nova's in the mill at this point. Yeah, it I don't really see... It just an unwinnable game for Wooster. Yeah. Stall comes down to the Oh my god! <laughs> this is the most ridiculous game of Hearthstone that I've ever seen in my life. Are they going to Frostbolt their own Death Lord? I don't think so. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bold. They can't really. They have to play something because of 10 cards. They can Flame Strike it down. Yeah. Could also... just Frost Nova here just to burn a card. Yeah. Blizzard. <laughs> okay, that's the one. Blizzard. I'd, I'd prefer to keep Frost over Blizzard here because Frost is easier to combo with stuff. Yeah. Later on when the big turns start happening. Yeah, especially if something like Lilithip comes down. You can still Frost over Doom's here on turn 10. It's the last card in their deck. Draxus is the last card. Unless they just don't know we've seen Draxus. Maybe they don't have it. That is crazy. No, they have it. The way they've been playing, they have to have it. Doesn't make any sense otherwise. They can Twilight Drake and Iron Beak Owl, the Death Lord, so that way even if they kill it, they know that it won't pop out a the, the Drax, so that's the only remaining card in their deck. I feel like they should have just played Dr. Boom and Owl at this point. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, do, you I, this, this is this is do you think this is unwinnable for Do you think this is Colet Oracle? Because now you know that... Well, you mill yourself. Stuff. Oh, that's true. You can just save Cold Light for the burn at the end. Yeah, yeah. Cold Light's, yeah. I mean, it's its so much damage once you get to those. Even Draxus is going to lose in the game because once they're at 15 life from Draxus, yeah. Cold Light and all well, this burn. They're just they're dead. Just, yeah, if they Draxus this turn, they're just dead. I don't see what's You don't even need Cold Light. They're yeah. dead on board. Yeah. Fireball, Frostbolt, Ping is enough. Now they play the Dr. Boom. But this is so much damage. Another Death Lord. I kind of like to see a Death Lord, Echo, and Frost Nova here. That gives you two more Death Lords. Well, Death Lords oh, don't no, really Death do Lords too much don't now. Do anything. I guess they're still okay. I guess Just maybe, Frost Nova. Maybe Cold Light Oracle Echo, but you're going to mill yourself. Maybe there's a way you can do it. Say Frost Nova first, and then you could Cold Light, then Echo? I'm not sure. You could Frost Nova duplicate Echo. Yeah. You don't really worry about. You probably about... don't want to echo though. You want to echo your cold light, is what you want to echo. Oh yeah, that's true. That's the most important card. Maybe I can just say something like Frost Nova. I don't think they really need to do anything. They can just yeah. Frost Nova go face. Frost Nova Doomsayer, Death Lord maybe. I don't know. Frost Nova is guaranteed though. It looks like Doomsayer is going to be the play. And uh, a pink face. So, uh, oh, Frostbolt face. So let's see. They're going to take one damage next turn. Uh, so I think with Cold Light Oracle, that will be lethal for Purdue next turn. They're counting whether they... I think Frost be Frostbolt here. It's because you might have too many cards after Doom Oh, there is no Doom Decay down. Yeah, it's Ice Block. Alright, so uh, they're going to take one damage this turn. So Cold Light next turn would be uh, five damage, because two, then three. Plus Fireball, that's 11. Plus Frostbolt, that's 14. Plus Ping. They would die on the following turn, so Wooster would die on the following turn when they, once they take six damage. Yeah, this seems like a Shadow Flame turn. Uh, I think it's still game, regardless. Yeah. There's not a realistic way for 
boost for win this. It might come down to the only way to win is actually Malganus because uh, since Purdue doesn't have a way to deal with. Actually, no, they can fireball Malganus. Never mind. Well, you they can't have Malganus fatigue. because you they can't fatigue if you play Malganus. Well, no, though, they lose next turn regardless, like on the uh, start of their next turn. Because Doomsayers go off this turn regardless. So, And most likely, Purdue will Cold Light Oracle into another Cold Light Oracle. Yeah, yeah, that's that should be game. Cold Light that, Oracle, Cold Light game, yeah. Fireball. Fireball. So it's that's uh, four cards. Two, You're three, taking. that's five. Plus six, that's double eleven. Double Cold Light is lethal by <laughs> yeah, itself. Yeah, Double Cold Light is lethal by itself. Thank oh, man. That is crazy. Yeah, there was no moments. Yeah. <laughs> there was no moments. There was no moments all <laughs> along. Oh, no. Oh, man. Don't even need this Frostbolt. They die in the next turn. Just yeah. Keep control. The, the swag and oh. turn. Frostbolt yourself in the face. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> And that's six fatigue damage in after what could be the craziest and longest game of Hearthstone I've seen in a very long time. Purdue.